Apple's new range of iMac now includes Intel 9th generation processors and the awesome Vega graphics. For a gamer, stepping up to a Vega card is like having terrible vision and putting on a pair of glasses for the very first time. Like HBM2 or High Bandwidth Memory 2 gives us 8 gigabytes of RAM at unprecedented speeds. It will improve the experience by allowing you to run uh, better visuals at higher resolutions with more effects, more bangs, crashes, whizzes, smoke, fire, supporting things like high dynamic range. In Vega, both your average frame rates, your maximum frame rates, and your minimum frame rates, all of them are going to be substantially better than previous generation because we have so much horsepower in Vega. You know, there are over 200 features on in Vega. But if I have to pick one that in the long run is going to have the most impact is the high bandwidth cache. Imagine you're in a game, right, you know, turned around the wall and then there, there is a, you know, a bad guy or a monster and he's just about to, you know, shoot you and it, you have a frame drop there and you're dead. We've been working closely with a company in Finland called Futuremark. FreeSync is a technology that allows us to adapt the refresh rate of the monitor to the rate the game can actually render frames at. You get no tearing and you get low latency without motion jutter. FreeSync 2 monitors will really be the highest quality version of FreeSync. With 240 hertz and FreeSync on, it felt like I was in the game again. It felt like I was completely connected and it meant I could play my game without worrying about the hardware. Every time there's a, a release of a new uh, GPU generation, uh, gamers are always pretty excited because they can expect that that's going to bring more performance, uh, new features, and definitely Vega is going to deliver on all those fronts. Anybody who's shopped for a GPU knows that you look at the amount of frame buffer or graphics memory or VRAM that the GPU has. If you're a game developer, uh, that's important because you have to fit all of the data for the game that you want to render into that amount of memory. And that, of course, puts a constraint on how detailed your, your games can be it's by introducing a new technology that we call a high bandwidth cache. So the idea there is that instead of having all of the data for your game having to be stored in this dedicated memory, we can actually stream in the data we need from system memory or even an SSD on demand. And a controller that we have on the GPU makes sure that even when we're streaming this data in, the GPU never has to stall and stop rendering, which can cause stuttering and make a game unplayable. You can effectively address, instead of a few gigabytes of graphics memory, up to hundreds of terabytes, and it's only limited by the amount of memory or storage that you attach to your system. So another thing we did in Vega was we redesigned the geometry engine uh, to be much higher performance. It now has the capability to process more than twice as many polygons uh, every clock cycle than we could in our previous generation. In addition to the geometry processor, we did the same thing with the compute units. We have a new compute unit design in Vega which not only is designed to run at much higher clock speeds, but can actually also process more operations on every clock cycle. I didn't understand it until I actually saw the final shroud. It blew my mind away. I'm like, wow, this is actually beautiful. You should choose Radeon RX Vega if you care about those higher resolutions, if you care about having the very best GPU for new standards like Vulkan or DirectX 12. You should choose and, and care about Vega if you want to make sure that your games are being played the way they were meant to be. Turn up all your quality settings and run your games in their fullest glory with the best visual quality that the game developer intended you to enjoy. You get a glass with FreeSync because that's the buttery smooth glass 
and the best GPU to drive that is Vega. Has the revolutionary high bandwidth cache, one, the new programmable geometry type, the next generation compute unit, and it's the most advanced pixel engine that we have ever built.